Today, we are going to be designing a wedding invitation from scratch with nothing to buy, no plugins, completely free. Now this video is a follow up from part one, so we won't be going over everything that we did in the last video. So if you haven't seen part one, go and watch that and then come back and continue with this one. So we're going to be continuing our graphic designing journey and we're going to be making a wedding invitation. People are always getting married, so I hope all of you who are watching will find this valuable and will be able to apply it in some way. And you can follow along and design with me if you have Photoshop on your computer. So with no further delays, let's start designing. So here we have Photoshop open. Let's go ahead and create our wedding invitation template. And today I want it to be in inches so it can fit on a regular letter size paper if you were to print it yourselves. Let's do six inches wide by 10 inches high and as we discussed in the last video we designed everything with a resolution of 300 and let's hit create all right so here is our template now the first thing i want to do is bring in my background image i already downloaded one it's completely free i'll put a link to it in the description as well as everything that we designed in today's video so i know where i have my image i'm just going to open my folder and drag it into photoshop now it's a png image with a transparent background and that means that it won't affect the white background that I have here in Photoshop already. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger, maybe 30%. No, that's too big. Let's do 25 because I still want to be able to see this area up top as well as the flowers on the bottom. Maybe 27, that should be fine. Let's do 29. Okay, so now this looks good. I think that's what I want. So we already have our flowers on our background. You can already see that it's pretty nice and modern. I'm sure a lot of you may have seen this type of wedding invitation with the flowers and stuff like that. Real nice, real simple. Oh, before I go any further, let's save our file. You don't want to forget to do that. So we can go file, save as, and I'm going to save it in the folder that I had the flowers in. It's this same folder here. Let's do LSPV episode 013 wedding invitation and this is a Photoshop format and we're just going to click save. Okay. All right. Now we're going to add some text and I'm going to use the standard fonts that come with everybody's computer. That way you won't have to try and search for anything additional. It's just pretty straightforward, pretty standard. So what I want to write is standard wedding text to you. Make that bigger so you can see it. You are cordially invited to the wedding of. All right. And I'm going to center this by highlighting it and my background and align horizontal centers there we go it's centered and then the next thing i want to write is the name of my couple because obviously invited to the wedding of whose wedding is it right all right so let's say john doe and jane doe john jane all right let's make this a little bigger and i have an idea for this firstly this is to the john and the jane are too far apart so let's go over here into our character options and let's change the leading from automatic to about 24 now that's too little see they're touching let's do 36 some more 48 eh, that seems good right and then I still want to have the and symbol, the ampersand. So I'm going to type that. And maybe not have it as big as the text, maybe half the size. And I'm just going to tuck it right here. I'm just moving it with my mouse while holding the shift key. Mm, I think that looks good. All right, let's do the date and the venue. Another important detail for your wedding invitations. So let's hit our type tool. And remember that's T on your keyboard for your type tool. 
and we're gonna write at the church of well, this may not fall in one line so let's break the line here by pressing the enter key church of uh youtube and the address let's do 1080p big p google drive no i'm not done it um state city and state internet or state and country usa no let's do world all right let's change the leading of all of this because it's too far apart maybe you can stick to auto on this one and this is way too big i think the size of the ur cordial inverted up here is 18. let's do that the same all right let's align this to the center of our template by selecting it and our background and then aligning the horizontal centers there we go let's move this up a bit more let's bring down the ur cordial because obviously it's touching the flowers here or we can just bring the flowers over a little bit so i'm selecting the flower layer this layer right here and i'm just going to hold shift on my keyboard and just use the right arrow to move it over until it's where i want it that looks good right it's not touching all right and then let's do the date most weddings are saturday right saturday um obviously can't be getting married no because of all that's going on and then let's do next year january january 35th because january never seems to end right yeah, that looks good and then another thing that you always see on wedding invitations is something that says formal reception to follow meaning that you know there's going to be a reception all right so let's do another text with pressing t on our keyboard and we're going to write formal reception to follow and how i came down to the second line it's obvious just press the enter key on the keyboard and it brings you down okay so i have that typed out i'm going to align it to my background by highlighting the layer it's already highlighted and then i'm going to hold the control on my keyboard and then click on my background layer I'm just repeating all of this to make sure that you guys get it, alright? And then I'm going to go up top here, remember our tool options up top, and align the horizontal centers. Alright, there we are. That looks good. And then the last thing I want to add here is maybe an RSVP. You know, nowadays people always have like their wedding websites or an email address, so let's make up a wedding website for this. Let's just bring all this font up some more so I have a little more space. Formal reception, the date. Let's tuck that up somewhere. Remember, we're selecting T on our keyboard for the type tool. And then RSVP, www.johnandjane.wedding. And I'm going to move this up somewhere. I'm also going to make it smaller, highlighting everything, going up to my tool options, and maybe 12. Doesn't have to be that prominent. Uh, probably move the background around a bit more or maybe stretch it out some more let's do 30 and you can see the background is still touching the font a little bit let's go ahead and expand it some more by clicking on the layer it says floor right here and then control on my keyboard and the letter T that will allow me to stretch it as a transform option and let's do 31% that should be good and then I'm going to select all the text that I have here and just move it up one, two, three, four, five by clicking V for my move tool on the keyboard. And that was just moving it up with shift and the arrow key, the up arrow key. All right. Now I'm just going to change the color of some of this. Let's do the John and Jane first because I like that. Let's change the color here. You can change it here in the character tool or you can click T on your keyboard to bring up the text tool. Click on the color box here and you can select. You see the cursor changes to a dropper tool. It's no longer the arrow and you can literally choose a color from here 
or you can pick a color from anywhere on your template or you can go ahead over here and mix a color up of your liking but i think i'm gonna pick a color from this red rose here okay that looks good before i press ok you can note that every color has its code right here this is called a hex code hex meaning it's a six digit code or a six character code let's go ahead and group john and jane and i'm going to group it by highlighting them they're already highlighted and i'm going to hold Control on my keyboard and press the letter g and you see a group pops up and let's rename the group so let's double click on the group and name it john and jane all right that's good and then we can move that around and you can see by moving the group the john and the jane and the ampersand are all moving together okay so now we can customize our fonts a little bit more and then we're almost there so this is not looking too bad this is pretty good so let's go ahead and just arrange the fonts and make them a little bit neater on the template so you are cordially invited let's move this up top because it's the first thing in the template john and jane comes second i'm just clicking and dragging the layers at comes third saturday comes fourth formal and then rzp good now let's align all of those with our background and i'm just going to hold a shift on my keyboard or you can use control and select them one by one let's do rsvp i'm holding control and clicking 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 and they're all selected now let's go ahead and click on our background layer that way we can align the centers of everything with our background so we're going up top tool options and we're just going to hit align horizontal centers and you see everything just shifted neatly so the you are cordially invited i think i'm going to make that a little bit smaller or maybe just make the first line smaller right now i think it's 18 points text size so i'm just going to hit t on my keyboard for the text tool and i'm going to select this top line right here right now it's 18 points let's go ahead and make it 12 because i don't want everything to be that protruding off to the sides i really just want to the wedding off to be you know more dominant now an important thing that you can do is you see these rulers right here on top and on the side and if you're not seeing those by the way you can just hit control on your keyboard and the letter r and you can make them appear or disappear remember control on the letter r shows you your rulers and it displays the width and the height of your document now from those rulers i'm going to click and drag and you get what is called a guide see that you can do horizontal guides and you can do vertical guides that way you keep your design within boundaries so that when it goes to printing you know most printers or regular household printers don't print all the way to the edge so if you were printing this yourself you wouldn't want anything to get cut off right so let's go ahead and move these to some more appropriate measurements so i'm holding shift on my keyboard and clicking and dragging them let's do i don't know 100 pixels or 200 pixels on the top and bottom that's 200 and uh, the height of my document is 3000 pixels as you can see right there and i'm just going to drag it till it's about 200 from 3000 is 2800 yeah there we go and then right now this is at 180 let's drag it over to 200 and uh, the width of my document is 1800 so that's 1600 minusing 200 of course because we're all math geniuses <laughs> and then i'm going to put the you are cordially invited i'm going to click on it it's selected and just drag it up to the guide that way it's nice and uniform and i'm just going to click on the john and jane and move it up some more but i think i want to make it bigger so let's go ahead and do control and t there we have our transform options and i'm going to make this up top tool options maybe increase the size by 130 percent that looks good right good and then let's change the color of the date because the date is another important piece of information 
I'm pressing T on my keyboard to get text options and then clicking on the color. And then I'm going to select the same color as the John and Jane. Now the date is a little bit too thin, so let's go ahead and make that bold. All right, that looks better, that looks better. And let's also do it for the RSVP, clicking on that, changing the color to the same color of the John and Jane. You see, I'm just picking on the John and Jane and it changes the color automatically. And that's also a little bit too thin, kind of hungry. Let's go ahead and do bold, all right? Now this is good. Let me just move the at, pressing V on my keyboard to change from the text cursor to the move tool. And then I'm just going to move the at up a bit. And here's what I could do. I could select all of the text once more by clicking and holding control on each of them. And I could come up here up top and this would allow me to distribute each item vertically, meaning the same distance will be between each of them as they go down. There we have it. So everything got distributed evenly. So that's less headache for us. That's a really good feature of Photoshop right there. And now that it's evenly distributed, we can go ahead and save our file because I mean, there's not much that I would do to this. I think this is nice and it's a great start. I haven't been saving my file. Please forgive me, that's a bad habit. Let's go ahead and hit Control on our keyboard and the letter S that saves our file. Or you could have come up here to File and then click to save. All right, so I think, I think guys, I think this is where I want to leave this. I don't want to do anything else to this. Looks good, right? I'm just zooming in by holding Alt on my keyboard and rolling my mouse wheel. I think that looks good. I really like this. Now, remember earlier we saved our Photoshop file. Let's go ahead and save our image file. That way we can send it out to our family members or we can send it to be printed at a print tree or we could even print it ourselves. File, save as, and we are saving it as type right here. We're changing that to JPEG. And as you can see, you have a whole host of file options here. Well, we're just using JPEG for it today. And we're clicking save. You'll get some options here and I always just max all the quality. That way I'm getting the best file possible. Clicking OK. Now let's go ahead and view our file. We have it. Here it is. What do you guys think? I really, really like this. I mean, I think John and Jane would like this too, right? <laughs> And that is a first wedding invitation, successfully designed and ready to be printed, ready to be sent to all the family members because the wedding is coming up and it's gonna be amazing because you designed this. If you liked all that we did today, remember to hit like and leave a comment below if something stood out to you. Remember to stay home and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is C-Jam and I will see you guys in the next video.